Apple has a really nice style. And let me show you how you can edit like Apple. First of all, Apple prioritizes two things, simplicity and fluidity. We want to achieve this in our videos and to achieve this, we need to pay attention to things like fonts, color choices and animations. By the way, at the end of the video, I'll show you a great website. There are tons of animations there that have this aesthetic look. There are all ready-made templates. You can just go choose the one you like, edit it and export it. This isn't sponsored by the way, I just used that website, I liked it and I wanted to share it. Step one, font. First of all, the font that I use in my videos is the, <clears throat> sorry if I not pronounce it right, New Year Display Has Grotesque Pro. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll, I'll just write it on the screen. It's hard to pronounce for me. I think it's perfect for the simple style that we want. But Apple uses the San Francisco font. You can just search for SF Pro. That's the font that Apple uses. You can choose whatever you like. I just personally like this one. I know I'm showing you how to edit like Apple, but I also want to add some of my own aesthetics and style because I don't know, it's my video and that's my style and I actually like it. So I want to share that too. You might like some aspects of my aesthetic and my style and want to use that, but I'm also showing you what Apple uses so you can just choose the one you want. Step two, color. As for color choices, Apple frequently uses black and white combination or vice versa, white and black. It creates a simple and elegant look. But personally, I don't usually use true blacks in my videos. I just use a brighter shade of black. I think that looks better. Apple also uses gradients. In your video editing app, you can just apply a gradient effect to your text and like choose a color combination that you like. In DaVinci Resolve, you go to your text, then go to the shading and choose the gradient. Then you can do the color combination that you like. Of course, I said any color combination you like, but Apple usually uses the same color, but in different shades. For example, let's say orange. It goes from light orange to darker orange. This again adds a nice touch to our text. Step three, animation. One of the most important points is smooth animations. Let me illustrate with some examples. I'll demonstrate using DaVinci Resolve, by the way, but the principle is the same in all other editing apps. I want this image to appear smoothly on the screen. So I'll apply a transform effect to this image. Then I'll go to the beginning and add a keyframe, drag it down like this, and then move forward a bit and bring it up like this and this is how it looks it doesn't look good i go back and enable motion blur in the transform effect settings crank up the motion blur and the animation looks like this it's a bit better then in the keyframe section i'll set the animation to easy in and easy out so the animation is smoother and not so linear. We can also add a fade in effect like this to the few first seconds of the image. This way we can achieve the smooth animation we want. Step four, shadow. Adding a shadow effect to our image creates a nice 3D effect. Here I'm adding a drop shadow effect to my image, playing around with it a bit, like you can play with it as you like. And this is the difference between the before and after. This is also a nice touch. As a bonus, I'd like to show you the website that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, jitter.video. This site has a lot of templates and I think they all look great. They have a simple and elegant style and really smooth animations. You can choose the template you like, edit it however you like, and then export and use it. Of course, the free plan only allows you to export up to 720p, but I think this is nice because you can use the platform for free, like test it, and see if you like it or not. And if you actually like it, then you can switch to the paid plan and export up to 4K. I'll leave the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.